Lisa Kudrow's character on Friends is a free spirit and not exactly the brightest person on television. Actors who have played similar characters have complained that people sometimes think they are like that in real life. Is that something that you can identify with? Well, I don't, I don't know how I would know that they think I'm an idiot because really all they're saying when I see people in L.A., all they say is like, oh, I love your show. So, I don't know, maybe they could say, oh, I love your show, but they don't, so. <laughs> Oh! Friends became a huge hit within a few weeks of its premiere. The actors quickly saw their faces featured on numerous magazine covers. How was it for you and the cast to suddenly be the focus of all that media attention? It was a little bit unnerving? No, I don't think it was unnerving. It was exciting. The thing is, in L.A., people don't care. I mean, they see huge stars walking around, so... In L.A., they're pretty cool about it. When we go to any other city, forget it. Then it's, it's a little weird, yeah. Hey, Lisa, you know, I've always been fascinated when actors start out, you know, the ways they make money. Were TV commercials ever something that you considered doing? Oh, considered? Yeah. But I, I wasn't very good at those auditions. What, what kind of things did you have to do? Well, I don't, nothing too wacky. It's just that they always wanted me to be a lot perkier than I normally am, so I had trouble with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, the, the uh, Smelly Cat episode with the music video we ran not too long ago, and for about a week afterwards, I was singing that to myself uh, mm. around the house. It's catchy. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm just wondering, when you go into a, a club where, say, there's someone at a piano, do people ever start singing that song to you? No, but I never go to clubs or anywhere where someone's playing a piano. That's something I try to avoid. Well, do you ever, do you ever find people spontaneously just, you know, on the street? Well, I was on vacation once and sitting in a jacuzzi and a woman went, Oh, you're the girl from that show, honey. It's that girl. Sing that song. And her, she's like, you know who that girl is? He's like, no, I don't know who, who, who the hell she is. She goes, she does that. Sing that song, honey. That, that's, um, you know, Dirty Cat. Sing that Dirty Cat. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> well, the question about your, your, the new aspect of your life, of being a mom, I'm just curious, last season, I mean, how tough was that for you to, to do the show pregnant? Was it... Uh... Well, I mean, the only real hardship was just that I was tired a lot, mm -hmm. and sometimes the hours are, you know, six mm -hmm. hours past my bedtime. So mm -hmm. that was the only hard part. Yeah. Well, being a mom now, uh, what, uh, what uh, new exciting... Uh, things that have been happening to you since becoming a mom? Um, well, the same thing, no sleep. <laughs> and plus six hours past my bedtime, because <laughs> I'm going to bed at like nine o'clock now at night. Okay. And then that's barely enough sleep. <laughs> okay. and, and last question, I, you know, I, I know one day friends will end, and uh, I was thinking forward about the last episode, you know, all the hoopla that came around uh, Cheers and Seinfeld. Uh, do you have your own fantasies about what the last episode of Friends would be like? No, I haven't really thought of it. Because I'm afraid if I have any expectations that I'll be disappointed. <laughs> so, okay. you know, it might just be all of us, you know, just sitting in the apartment and there's a fire. We all burn. <laughs> we all melt. <laughs> <laughs>